Welcome back. Uh, today is our last book by Leo Leone. This is Tico and the Golden Wings. With, and we're reading it with permission from Dragonfly Books. Many years ago, I knew a little bird whose name was Tico. He would sit on my shoulder and tell me all about the flowers, the ferns, and the tall trees. Once Tico told me this story about himself. I don't know how it happened, but when I was young, I had no wings. I sang like the other birds, and I hopped like them, but I couldn't fly. Luckily, my friends loved me. They flew from tree to tree, and in the evening, they brought me berries and tender fruits gathered from the highest branches. Often, I asked myself, why can't I fly like the other birds? Why can't I, too, soar through the big blue sky over villages and treetops? And I dreamt that I had golden wings, strong enough to carry me over the snow-capped mountains far away. One summer night, I was wakened by a noise nearby. A strange bird, pale as a pearl, was standing behind me. I am the wishing bird, he said. Make a wish and it will come true. I remembered my dreams and with all my might, I wished I had a pair of golden wings. Suddenly there was a flash of light and on my back there were wings, golden wings, shimmering in the moonlight. The wishing bird had vanished. Cautiously, I flapped my wings and then I flew. I flew higher than the tallest tree. The flower patches below looked like stamps scattered over the countryside and the river like a silver necklace lying in the meadows. I was happy. I flew well into the day. But when my friends saw me swoop down from the sky, they frowned on me and said, you think you're better than we are, don't you? With those golden wings, you wanted to be different. And off they flew without saying another word. Why had they gone? Why were they angry? Was it bad to be different? I could fly as high as the eagle. Mine were the most beautiful wings in the world, but my friends had left me and I was very lonely. One day I saw a man sitting in front of a hut. He was a basket maker and there were baskets all around him. There were tears in his eyes. I flew onto a branch from where I could speak to him. Why are you so sad? I asked. Oh, little bird. My child is sick and I am poor. I cannot buy the medicines that would make him well. How can I help him, I thought, and suddenly I knew. I will give him one of my feathers. How can I thank you, said the poor man happily. You have saved my child, but look, your wing. Where the golden feather had been, there was a real black feather, as soft as silk. From that day, little by little, I gave my golden feathers away and black feathers appeared in their place. I bought many presents, three puppets for a poor puppeteer, a spinning wheel to spin the yarn for an old woman's shawl, a compass for a fisherman who got lost at sea. And when I had given my last two golden feathers to a beautiful bride, my wings are as black as India ink. I flew to the big tree where my friends gathered for the night. Would they welcome me? They chirped with joy. Now you're just like us, they said. We all huddled close together, but I was so happy and excited I couldn't sleep. I remembered the basket maker's son, the old woman, the puppeteer, and all the others I had helped with my feathers. Now my wings are black, I thought, and yet I am not like my friends. We are all different, each for his own memories and his own invisible golden dreams. The end. All right, I hope you enjoyed all the books this week, and see you soon.